Cadre, Cadre. A little something different. I, I just <clears throat> wanted to shave with a razor I haven't used in some time. So pulled out the old Gillette Techmatic. Um, but I, um, <clears throat> so interesting thing, the, the handle itself, the only thing you have on the handle is the thing to adjust the, your razor ribbon or whatever. Um, and so depending on what cartridge you buy, uh, some only have, uh, the counter for what section you're on and some are adjustable and the adjustment is built into, um, the, the cartridge, not, not the razor, so to speak. And I'm trying to even see which part adjusts. It's got to be this lower edge if it's you know, built into the cartridge, I would. I can't see anything moving. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put it on high because last time I shaved with this, well, every time I've shaved with it, I think I just had it on the, the medium setting. It's been super mild, um, which is, I thought, interesting, like a, almost no blade feel, or there is no blade feel. But I was just thinking, hey, I don't think I've ever tried it on a more aggressive setting. I wonder if it could be even more, more efficient. I'm um, using uh, the Holy Black Oatmeal Cookie shave soap. A delicious smelling but doesn't even touch a CBL roasted oatmeal stout. That stuff is the OG scent uh, for. There we go. A little bit of more blade feel. So whatever moved, I can tell. Uh, but still very mild feeling on the face. So This might just give a whiz bang shave. Wonder how old this cartridge is. You know, I ought to do a little research, right? If I got a shaving YouTube channel, maybe I ought to think of this stuff beforehand. Again, that's why I need. That's why I need to do live shades with. Uh, I need a staff. I need somebody that can read the comments. You know, some people. Do that they have a, the whole uh, setting where they've got multiple cameras and they got somebody you know out of the main shot who's either posting up comments for the person to reply to or sometimes even adding commentary that's what I need is somebody that can like look this stuff up and like I didn't even look up what the tasting notes are and then somebody's posting that's what I that's what I need uh what else this sunday sunday sad sad sunday we don't have a uh cadre zoom call it's interesting it's i guess it shows uh kind of how integral we are maybe in some of each other's lives maybe just a few of us um but when we do zoom calls sometimes we have extra ones for some reason and then if we have Zoom calls like every every Sunday for a while, it, it seems like maybe a bit much or occupying too much of every weekend or whatever. But then when we don't have one, it's like, well, I got to wait a whole nother week for a Zoom call. But we got some good shaves coming up. Um, Jerry is going to shave with uh the sissified uh, amazon version of it's this knife it's got like a, a handle like this and then a, a roundy blade and apparently back in the day you know, it was used by inuits and stuff to cut blubber uh you can now buy it on amazon this is by KitchenAid for like rolling to chop up herbs and such um so he's next with that and then bruce uh, was is ready to go he showed us he's got a pocket knife that he feels is sharp enough to shave with. So he will be after Jerry. So that's good. I mean, it's good to looking forward to those. Not quite what we've been doing with the crazy food-oriented shaves. And that's good. We need to get away from this. 
Well, this is weird. I was removing hair over here. Here it feels like there's either the blade just disappeared or there's nothing left to remove. I'm trying not to use pressure. I'm trying to let the blade do the work and see what's going to happen. Um, <clears throat> I had an old buddy just uh, text me this morning, just right, right as I was getting ready for my shave. Uh, <clears throat> Rodney, who I used to work with, super super whiz computer programming in terms of uh running reports and modifying uh specialty reports uh, in the medical field um uh, but he and i used to sit together and sit on and sit on the other side of a, a of a cubicle wall and i don't know if we drove each other nuts um and luckily uh, that was before I got into watches because he's way into Rolexes. And I think if I was into watches at that point, he might have dragged me down that hole. Uh, but uh, he was uh, interested in learning about wine from me. And then uh, he got into learning about sake. Uh, and uh, he would procure me some good sakes from the stores he would go to. And I haven't had sake for a long time. I mean, it's sad. It's been, I'm sure I'd recognize it, but it's been so long that I forget the brand that I like. But that's super interesting. Just like there's so much to wine. Like, yeah, you could go buy a bottle of red wine or California wine, whatever. And if you like it, that's it. But as I'd say in videos long ago, you get into, uh, anyway, I was going to start getting snooty about my wine. Um, you get into that. You get into which, which vineyard is it from and what kind of uh, barrels did they use? What kind of, was it French oak or American oak? And how many months was it in there? And did they hand pick the grapes? And of course they hand pick the grapes. If you're getting good Napa wine, you, you, Wow. Anyway, anyway so, so some some of the same stuff with uh, with the sake, and uh, I learned that you know they have to polish off the outside of the rice grain, and the longer they polish, and the less that is left, the kind of the smoother the sake is, but the more expensive it is to produce because you know you have less and less material to start with. And anyway. You watched that video I just posted about uh, setting up the Jura and then the, then the one after that. I was asking about, uh, you know, do I really weigh out my coffee beans and what do I think about certain coffees and things like that. So that's cool. And I would say, I'll, I think I've mentioned, but here's the thing. My parents used to just uh, go uh, to Starbucks and get their beverage. Okay, so... I wasn't paying attention. We cranked up the aggressiveness all the way up to the top. I think I got a much smoother shave than I have with it in the past, but I am kind of lit up in the neckle region. Um, so it does make a difference. So there we go for not paying attention. I'm even thinking about, we'll put it down one notch for the next shave. That's how I can handle it. Um, my parents used to just go to Starbucks and, uh, get their coffee and people watch. And then uh, when they came one time, I had switched to pour overs and made them pour overs with fresh artisanal beans and weighing out the beans and the water and this and that. And they were like, we're sold. So they had switched over to pour overs too. So I, that, that's my thing with, with anything is like, do what you, you do you boo. We talked about that before. Um, that you should do what you like. It's your money, your time. You know, I'm not way into the weeds on everything that I use. And so if you just like instant Folgers coffee, then you like instant Folgers coffee. Good on you. Cheaper, easier, whatevs. There's no reason to spend your time on everything in the world. But I would say... If you, especially if you drink your coffee black. Now, if you're pouring a bunch of creamer and stuff in it, I still say there's a difference. You can tell, you can tell the difference between like 
burnt coffee, not burnt coffee or vastly different roast levels, all right? I mean, people that say they can't tell the difference. If you took extremes, you could tell. <clears throat> so, but I, th I think even more so if you drink your coffee black, especially if you do A-B comparisons, which again, uh, there's no reason to if you like what you drink. Um, that's all that matters. Uh, but I think, I, I would say that uh, you may or may not care, but if you drink <clears throat> your, uh, your brew from wherever and then have a nicely made coffee with fresh beans that haven't been sitting in a warehouse for months and all that stuff, there likely will be a difference. Um, but that is my point he's asking about, you know, uh, Kona and Blue Jamaica and stuff like that. And that's all on, you know, um, some people it's worth it and you can tell the difference. Some people it's not. And I'm not one to say you should or should not buy whatever. I'm there to say try it just like you should try. Two in one and oh, Brave Barbershop, the sweetest smelling barbershop in Tucson. Yeah, boy. Um, so that's it. That's my, that's my spiel is I enjoy that process. I drew, just like um, for shaving. You see, I enjoy a lot of this process. Um, I've drawn the line at actual straight razors with stropping and stuff like that because I just not, I would not enjoy that. Maybe I would, maybe I would if I put the time into it, but that's, the, that's where my line is. I'm not gonna put the time into it um, and it's, t that one is tough to me. If you don't get it just off the bat, understand what you're doing and have some way to know that you're doing it right. You know, it's, <clears throat> nobody's here watching you. So how would anybody know to critique you or, or correct you or whatever? Uh, and that's it. Where were we going with this? We already did this. We already did um, yeah, I brought in my talc today. I've been using talc for quite a while. I've been using my, my aftershave balm instead, uh, which has been working well. Yeah, it's a super smooth shave. So this little booger, uh, it can, but also <clears throat> a lot of variables with this. This was the fourth shave on this segment. Um, usually I, I thought about rolling it to a new section today and did not. Um, so I thought, well, it's a pretty thick blade, I think, so it should stand up pretty well. Uh, but also that it's old. Maybe I should have. Who knows? Who knows? Just like, just like coffee, right? Just lo lots of variables. You change all sorts of things. It's interesting. This guy, uh, that I work with currently is in the coffee roast. I, I talked about this before. He brought in some beans and they're a little bit, um, more... A very uh, dense chocolate leather note to it, but a little bit uh, bitter on the end for me. So he lowered the uh, roast level for me. And I still said, oh, it's a little bitter. So let me try it though, that I, I made a more coarse grind um, and that helps some. And then while it doesn't visually look like a dark, darker roast, I also um, lowered my temperature because for a darker bean you should brew with a little bit lower temperature that helped a little bit so it's interesting to see all these variables that if you're not into it you don't think about <sighs> anyway we're almost i'm just i'm just burning burning time for the yeah yeah buddy so that's it so I, he saw my video on that new coffee machine we got and I went to uh, World Market and got me some, uh, we already had sugar-free French vanilla and I got sugar-free, is it brown sugar cinnamon? And sugar-free white chocolate. And then I made a uh, made a beverage, it's funny. So the, um, there's the one we got has a screen, but then buttons next to the screen, right? So you have to click the button next to whatever icon you want. And then there's a button to like, pages the version that's one step up that's only 
one or two hundred dollars is another i'm not going to get into it there's a reason we didn't want that one different than this but it's got a touch screen where you can like swipe and touch the screens anyway you pick these icons of what drink you want and it's funny because there's one that's like half milk half coffee looking stuff and one that's half like milky coffee looking stuff with white milk foam on top and and when you're went you know going to pick your drink you're like i what what are these supposed to mean <laughs> like my wife wanted to make a flat white and ended up making a, i don't know something with an italian name or oh yeah oh yeah mm -mm. well shoot now i got powder now it's gonna look even dirtier i got powder is this patina this is like shaving patina on my shirt this is like that means you're a working man we don't just this is not just for show um i gotta pick a scent now normally when i do the oatmeal stout i like something with like baking spices a little warm uh we're gonna go with nameless by mark buxton um you guys do this i also i try to keep the squirter towards the front uh, cause especially with my glasses off this one i can see but sometimes you don't know where that thing is and it's always good to not accidentally be like squirting yourself in the eye oh this smells so good i'm delicious all right what was i say yeah so i had to find uh luckily everything's on google i found a listing of the, like the little icons and what they were and stuff like that so that's something that's interesting that not even in the instruction book that came with it is a listing of here's what each thing is. It's just like you're just supposed to know. Or a Cortado has this much in I get I'm a... That's funny. For as much as I was into pour overs and stuff, I'm a... What do you call people that don't... Something file? Anyway, Neil file? When it comes to mixed coffee beverages like that because i just haven't been going i'm not gonna pay seven dollars for one of those um and so it's interesting so when i was making it yesterday um <clears throat> trying to do the low carb version so that's why i got the sugar free stuff but we're also using macadamia nut milk which when i was trying to find a milk to replace milk milk for drinking which i just gave up on macadamia nut to me at least had the best flavor and the other ones were kind of just like milky water. But I think it taint, it's got enough of a flavor that kind of throws the whole beverage off a little bit. So we're going to have to go back to like unflavored almond milk just to see if you just want the foam, right? You just want to add change the texture of your beverage. You can do it with uh, heavy cream too. But one, I don't know how heavy cream would work in the automatic frothing thing. Plus it's... How many calories are you pouring in there? Anyway, shave been done for a while. I'll let you go. We'll see you on the forums.